hi welcome back to the channel and today i'll talk about the time tracking in jira with the help of this time tracking feature you can track how many times you have spent on the particular task this is also an estimation technique although in lot of companies we use the story point estimation technique but if you want to check everything in the hours then you should use this time tracking feature so let's see how we can use this time tracking in jira this is my scrum board here under the development project and when i will click on any issue then on the right hand side you can see we have the two fields available which is original estimate and the time tracking these two fields are related to each other i will talk about the original estimate original estimate is how many hours you are going to spend on that particular task so here let's suppose i'm going to spend 30 hours and then I will make it okay this is 30 hours now here you can see the calculation in the time tracking field it is showing 30 hours are remaining i'll go here and a one pop-up window will open where you can see no time logged and the 30 hours are remaining now i will put let's suppose i have spent the 10 hours on that particular task and here you can see if you want to enter the time spent information in the week then you should use w for day days we will use d and for hours we use a and for minutes we use m and this is the date and time here this is the work description where you can write down the description about your work what you did and what you have achieved and now you can see i have put it the 10 hours here and now i will click on save and this is in the time remaining you can see the 20 hours are remaining so jira calculated behind the scene okay if if the 10 hours has been spent it means the 20 hours are remaining okay now i will click on save and here you can see like you have logged work to this particular task 10 hours logged and the 20 hours remaining when you will come here in the activity section of the issue under the work log you will see the details also logged one day two hours 10 hours ago this is the format like if you don't want to see the one day and two hours then how you will change this into the hours then i'll let you know how you will do it but here i will explain this one firstly okay this is 10 hours and 20 hours remaining you can see the blue bar it means the 10 hours has been spent on that particular task and this is the gray means 20 hours are remaining now i will go again and i will spend the 25 hours here okay the zero hours are remaining and here you can see the blue bar which is 35 hours has been logged and this is the five hours over from the original estimate i will click on save after writing the work description and here you can see 35 hours logged and when you will hover in this bar then five hours over original estimate so like this you can see the information about if something is putting the hours which are more than the original estimate now i will come here and you can see the three day and one hour one day and two hours has been logged here now i want to change it into the hour how i will do it if you are a jira admin then definitely you can do it you can go to the setting then you can click oh sorry you can click on the issues here and then when you will come back into the issues feature you have a time tracking click on the time tracking and here you have an option to change your time display format here we have few settings like time tracking provider if you are using any marketplace app related to the time tracking then here you will have a drop down to choose the setting accordingly but here i am using the jira provided time track now i will come to the global time tracking setting where you can set your working hours your working days per week your display time format default unit of the time tracking and coping of the comments to the work description remember if someone does not have a permission about work on issues then they cannot put their hours into the time tracking field it means they cannot log the hours if you want the user log the hours in the jira then you have to give the permission to work on issues here you can read like for the users you wish to be able to log work on the issues ensure that they have the work on issue permissions in the relevant permission scheme if you don't know how to use the permission scheme and how you can edit the permission scheme how you can give the 
permission to the users about the work on issue permission then i have already make a playlist bunch of videos where you can go and understand about the permission scheme what is permission scheme how you can add it add and delete the permission scheme over there i'll mention the link in the description box and you can also click on the above card and you will find all the videos related to the permissions now i will click on the edit global setting here where you can set the working per hours okay eight working days per week five perfect and here you can change the time display format let's suppose i want to make it the hours so i can make it like this and this is a default unit you can set the default unit also let's suppose if you forgot to mention like h d and w then this is the default unit that you can use remember when i was putting my work log in the time tracking i was using h let's suppose if i will not write or if i forgot to mention that h then the default unit will be the r and here copying of the comments to work description is enabled it means like any comment entered as a part of the workflow transition on the issue will be copied to the workflow description if work is logged as a part of that transition okay let's save it this is how you can use the time tracking feature in jira you can change the time format and you can set the default unit as well if you found this video useful then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe this channel please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest content thank you for watching this video have a great day